Hello, today we're taking a look at Bindle, the PDF maker, which was recently updated with new UI changes, etc. So it has a really great uh, user interface and it is a really great tool for making presentations and photo books instantly. Uh, it's really, really a one of a kind application. You can uh, bindle or bundle photos together, if you like to say, you know, into this really great application. You can make uh, albums, you can make little books. Uh, again, and just some of the features here and benefits, it says here you can use a presentation maker, a comic book agent, catalog maker, you can gather up to 24 images together, uh, images from your camera roll, social uh, networks, all of that great stuff. So it really is versatile on how you can use it. So here we are looking at the main menu, you have a couple options here. You have feedback in the top left if you want to submit feedback, help in the top right to get information about each of the things. So you can make album for square photos, or book for portrait photos if that's what you want to do. And you can see your most recent project. So you can tap here or you can hold to delete if you want to delete it. Or you can just tap on it if you want to see pictures you've taken here. So you can see here, this is a photo book that I was making earlier, just testing out some photos, how easy it is to add. So uh, I was taking a picture of some of the, uh, I have an aluminum sort of setup here going with all my Apple hardware. So I was taking pictures of that and making a booklet. You can click on the square or the question mark at the top here to go back to the home page if you want to use the home button there. Or you can just click that question mark to get all of this help info on what each button does here. So you can add a uh, photo right here simply by clicking add or you can just tap on this plus thing and you can do it from your camera roll, take a photo or you can import it from multiple social networks and four of the big ones that's Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, Picasa so you can easily import photos that you have there or again I can just choose to take a photo so in this case let's say I want to take a photo of my magic trackpad here because that kind of matches with the aluminum setup here so I'm going to go ahead and kind of focus out here and take the picture I'll hit use there and that kind of matches with everything, so I can leave that in there. Now I can do edit, I can click on edit, so I can click if I want to rearrange photos. So let's say I actually want this next to here, since that kind of makes more sense because it's next to the keyboard, and so on and so forth. And I can tap edit to un, uh, get out of edit mode. Now I can do details, so let's say I want to do details. I want to click on this photo, I can do a couple things. I can add captions here, so I can add these little speech bubbles, headers, etc. I can do uh, go back to the index, that's what I want to do. I can also, just, let's say I want to edit this one again. I can do pan and zoom. So let's say I kind of want to crop out some of that. I don't really want the majority of that keyboard. I just want the trackpad there. So I can kind of crop that out and I'll say, you know, that's pretty good. And I'll just hit next there so I can jump to the next photo. So you can see I can easily do that. I can go back to the home or index simply and you can see, uh, again, you can crop out photos very, very nicely there if you want it, if that's what you want to do. If you want to crop it more, like say you want to zoom all the way in and just get that aluminum, then you can do that too. Click the pan and zoom button and that's what you'll end up with. So very, very easy to use, very easy to uh, edit photos. And lastly, you can bind it. If I click bind, it's going to go ahead and take all these images and put them into this nice little PDF book. And I can just go through them very, very easily here, all one after another. And you can do this with multiple photos. I can click share here. I can email the PDF. I can send it to my Dropbox. Or I can even open it in iBooks and have a whole bunch of other things. So it really is versatile in the way you can export it. So if you want a great way to make little booklets, again, you can do albums. You don't have to do just books. You can do album. Uh, sort of books here easily. Again, all with Bindle, a really great PDF maker. It is currently $1.99 in the app store, available for iPhone and iPad. Definitely worth checking out today.